Hey guys, it's Shelly here with Love Create Laugh. This is another layout share. This photo is a picture of my son Jacob and his friend Danny. And they had gone to um, the Kenny Chesney, Tim McGraw, and there was a couple other people or groups in the Brothers of the Sun tour um, in 2012. They went in July to Denver to see this concert. Um, so that's a picture of them arriving at the arena. Um, it was an outside venue, I believe. I can't remember the name of the... the um, it was like a sports field, I think. Uh, but it was a big deal for them, and they had a great time, and that was just one of the pictures that they took when they first arrived at the venue. So the layout, um, I'll go ahead and get started on the products that I used. Uh, the background paper that I used is from Studio Calico. Most of the stuff... Well, I tried to use mostly the stuff from my kit, um, for my Studio Calico kit, but I also picked up some stuff for my stash just because I'm trying to use it up. But um, the background paper is from my kit. It's the Dots and Loops Studio Calico paper, and it's the polka dot that kind of fades from green up to a light blue. Um, I just like the colors of that with the, ba the background of the picture, so that's what I decided to use. And then I used a little piece, uh, or a little strip, I guess, of the Fancy Pants navy blue corrugated sheet and that's just across the bottom there I need to be and then I also used for layering behind the picture a little bit of this Teresa Collins far away far and away maps paper um, I just cut the piece out that was of the United States. It's completely pretty much covered, <laughs> but that's behind the picture and all of the layering. So that's that. And then I used border stickers from Crate Paper. This is from the Random Collection. I've had it in my stash for a long time. But I used this cute um, pink, where is it? This pink scallop here down below the blue and then up top here for my little cluster of labels there. I think that's, yeah, that's the only one from that. I was thinking about using this denim one, but I just couldn't figure out where to fit it in, so there's that. And then I also used the a couple pieces from the sticker sheet as well from Crate paper is random, sorry, it's upside down. I use this one, which is like this little bracket. I want to, what do you call that? Top note, I guess. And then I also used this one that says Enjoy Life. I layered them together right here. Um, and then I put some little chit chats from Tim Holtz up there that says, um, the chit chats say, I love how you, and then Enjoy Life because my son is 22 and he does do a lot of really fun things that I totally encourage him to do because this is the exact time he needs to be doing these things. Um, so he surprised um, Danny with tickets to go see this in Denver and they, like I said, they live in Nebraska so it's kind of a big deal and he just is the sweetest kid and he does really good things and you know, I just, I really do love how he enjoys life and that he makes the most of his opportunities and he does really good things for people and I'm just super proud of him, so I just wanted to include that little layered sticker on there to kind of, you know, acknowledge that I love how he does do those sweet things. So that's what that is. Um, I used four labels from this Lost and Found, my mind's eye label sheets, mostly just because I wanted to use them up. Um, so that was the end of that. So this is finally one that I've actually used all of them. I don't think, I don't know, maybe I've done that one other time, but I don't even think I've done that one other time. I think the last time I got rid of a, a label sticker sheet like that, it, there was still one or two on there that I just didn't think I would ever use. Um, so I put two of them up here um, behind the date one. The date one's actually not from that one. And then where else? Um, they're layered on there some, well, maybe I'll, oh, no, they're down here. So then there's two there. So I used four total from that one. And then, let's see, I used one collectible, in my mind's eye, label sticker from the Notable Memo. And that is the one that looks like this, and it's the one up there that says date. I just like the green. I wanted to bring the green up, so I put that there. 
Um, I use some of these basic gray photo frames. I've been getting lots of use out of these. I really wasn't sure how I'd use them when I first got them, but I really like them. Um, that film strip looking thing there is from this package, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And then I also used, so, let's see, hey Boy die, the Hey Boy die cuts. I've been getting a ton of use out of this too, and there's still a ton in there. I can't believe how much stuff comes in these little packages, because this is not a big package. There's a lot of stuff in there. So from here, I used a die cut, and I used this film strip here is from this. It looks like that. Right there. With the threes on it. So that's there. And then I used, there's a transparency right above the photo that says genuine. Um, let me see if I can find it on here. I don't know where it is on this. I'm pretty sure it came from this Oh, yeah, there it is, right at the top. So that little transparency is on there as well. That little acetate, acetate piece or whatever. Good times tab. This good times tab here. And then there's a little red label underneath there that you can't really see very well. But it's um, it just kind of anchored that photo. Otherwise, it was kind of floating on top of that blue. Um, I think that's everything from that one. And then I use the one of these Studio Calico wood 3x2 things I ordered with my, I think it was an extra thing that I ordered, I'm not really sure. Um, but I used one behind the picture, it was the one with the little arrows. So that's there. I used the Studio Calico paper, this little paper clip that came with my Studio Calico kit with the gold little flex in it. And I'll show that a little closer up. Wood veneer, Polaroid, um, this little one, I think I ordered extra maybe, or did everybody get the, I don't know which ones I ordered extra and which ones came in the kit, um, but I used one of those, the small one, and I put it around the two little Studio Calico wood veneer potty people. Um, then I used one of the Studio Calico Project Life cards that came with my, I ordered a Project Life bonus kit or whatever, I don't know what it was, but... That happy days back there is from that. Um, and then I used the Studio Calico blue tag, which is right there, which I will put some twine through. I just haven't yet. And then I grabbed some stuff from the Maggie Holmes ephemera pack. I cannot believe how much stuff is in this little package either. There's a ton in here, and I keep using it on all kinds of layouts, and still so much stuff in there. Um, but from there, I used this camera in that circle back here, and this pink like, I don't know, ticket thing. I think that's everything that I used out of that one. Yeah, the green circle, pink ticket, camera, and pink... Oh, wait, no, that pink label was from there, not from the basic gray one, sorry. Um, I got three badges from my stash that I just thought fit on the layout pretty well. The little one that says, Hello World, because they traveled. Um, the smile one because they're just he's got the cutest smile in the world and then this little blue dot one I just thought matched the paper pretty well so I went with that as well um, the alphabets that I used um, I use this set of thickers which is the memo and they are like burlap looking and I just use that for part of the title on the right and then I use these I think they're Eric Eric font in the denim my son was wearing denim or these jeans anyway I use some of these pebbles little white and black ones or ivory and black I guess they are I use some of these craft um, letter stickers that came in my kit and then like I said I did use a couple words from the Tim Holtz chit chats um, I also used my pebbles date stamp which I stamped up there on the date um, label I used one geotag from this arrows and geotags wood veneers, and that was down here by where I put the city. I used the two potty people, like I said, some of those from my stash. And then I also used for my kit this month some of these little letters um, on the bottom there. 
So the title says Brothers of the Sun Tour, Denver, Colorado, and then underneath I just put Kenny Chesney and Tim McGraw. Um, again, there were other acts that were at that show because it was a pretty big collaboration, I think, for this tour, but those are the only two I put on there. And I can't decide, like I keep thinking about putting the title of one of those guys' songs at the top there, and I just can't decide if it, if it would be too much to put another title because I've got, you know, the Brothers of the Sun tour kind of on the side and then their names down below, so I'm not sure if that would be too much. You guys have any um, input on that? I would sure love to hear it. So if you think I should put another title at the top with something like, I don't know, I'm trying to think of some of the, um, I don't know, I'm sure I could come up with some good songs that he loves from them. And then I also used just these enamel dots from My Mind's Eye, Lost and Found, and they are Ruby, the Ruby collection. And I put those kind of up here by the title, up here by that, and then down here in this little area too, and one on the camera. So I will show you a little bit closer up. Um, there's that top corner with the date and the little border strip and stuff, that little film strip. Um, there's some glaring. I really like these acetate pieces. I might have to go check out some more of the basic gray ephemera packs just because I like all the layering pieces that are included in them. Brothers of the Sun tour. I did outline the brown letters with a black pen because they were not showing up very well. Um, I pop dotted a few things up off the page that camera and some other stuff. And that's pretty much the whole layout. And then I do have some journaling over here on this tag. So that's everything guys. I appreciate you guys watching. It's Tuesday and I hope you guys are having a great week so far and that it just stays great. And it's been beautiful weather here finally. Um, so I'm just in a really great mood and in a really great place. And I hope you guys all are too. Light and love to each of you. Have a good one. Bye. See you next time.